let's take a look at changes in mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, so we're going to be really careful to read and see which vocabulary word they're asking us about. Look at this set of numbers. How would the mode change if the number four were added to the set? Okay, since they're asking us about mode, let's keep in mind that the mode is the most common number or the number that appears the most frequently in our set. Okay, so right now, let's see, we have eight, three, four, seven, five, one, nine, six, and nine. So the only number that appears more than once in our original set is nine. So our original mode would be nine. Okay, now if we added four to the set, that would mean we have two fours and two nines. So now we would have two modes, both four and nine. So it would change because now we would have multiple modes. Look at this set of numbers. How would the mode change if the number three were added to the set? Okay, well again, the mode is the most common or the most frequent number. So right now, nine, seven, two, five, one, and five, the most common number or the mode is five. Now, if I added three on my set, there's no repeats, right? Three is only in my set one time, so the mode is still five. So there would be no change because in both sets, we have a mode of five. Look at the set of numbers. How would the mode change if the number five replaced the number 10 in the set? Well, since we're talking about a change, we need to know what happened originally. So let's look at our original number set. 10, 1, 6, 9, 3, and 1. So the only number that repeats is 1. So in our original data set, our mode is 1. How would this change if the number 5 replaced the number 10? Okay, so if we crossed out that 10 and we put a 5 in here instead, well, 1 would still be our mode. It's still the only number that comes up more than once. So there's no change at all. It stays a mode of 1. Look at this set of numbers. How would the mode change if the number four replaced the number two in the set? Okay, well right now, our mode would be nine. It's the only number that repeats. So in our original data set, we can say our mode is nine. And then they're telling us to change it by taking four and putting that in place of the two. Okay, so if we cross out this two and we put a four here, well, there's still no other repeats besides the nine. So the mode of the new one is exactly the same. It's still nine. Look at this set of numbers. How would the mode change if the number six replaced the number four in the set? Okay, well, our mode is our most common number. So right now in our original set, we can say that our mode is five because five is the only number that appears twice. Okay, now they're saying if the number six replaced the number four. Well, if I crossed off my four and put a six there, it doesn't matter. Five is still the only repeating number, so I still have a mode of five, so no change. Look at this set of numbers. How would the range change if the number five were added to the set? Now notice this time they're giving us a different question. They're asking about the range. And the range is always the largest number minus the smallest number. Okay, so if I look at my original data set, my biggest or largest number is 10, and my smallest number is one. I actually have two ones, but either way, it's the smallest number. So my original range would be 10 minus one, or a range of nine. Okay, now 
If the number five were added to the data set, well, five is in the middle, right? It's not the biggest or the smallest number. So it actually doesn't change my range at all. Even if I add another five in there, my range would still be 10 minus one or nine. So there would be no change. Look at this set of numbers. How would the mean change if the number eight were added to the set? Okay, well the mean is the average or what you get when you add up all the numbers and divide by how many numbers there are. All right, so let's look at our original mean. We'd have to add all of this up. So we're saying 10 plus six plus six plus three plus four plus six plus seven plus seven plus one. And then we divide it by how many numbers there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. Okay, so let's add 10, six, plus six, plus three, plus four, plus six, plus seven, plus seven, plus one, gave me 50. So 50 divided by nine numbers would give me, and it's 5.5 repeating, so we're gonna say that's about 5.6 if I round it. Okay, well if we added the number eight to the set, let's see what our new mean would be. Now I could list out all the numbers again, but if I know that the first nine numbers already added up to 50, they're still gonna add up to 50. But this time, if we include an eight, we're gonna have one more number to add on we're gonna to have to add the eight to it. Now, if that's confusing to you, you can say 10 plus six plus six plus three plus four plus six plus seven plus seven plus one plus eight, but that's gonna add up to 50 plus eight or 58, right? So we're just using what we already know to simplify this first part out. We knew that those first nine numbers already added up to eight. Okay, well, in my original data set, we had nine numbers. We're adding on one more, so that should be 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 numbers. Okay, so for my new mean, all 10 of those numbers add up to 58. And we would be dividing that by 10 numbers, and that's going to give me a new mean of 5.8. All right, so let's look at our change. Our original mean was 5.6, and it increased or went up to 5.8. Look at the set of numbers. How would the median change if the number one were added to the set? Okay, well let's look at our original median. Remember the median is the middle number when you list your numbers from least to greatest. Okay, so I have to make sure that I'm putting them in order least to greatest. So my smallest or least number is two, and I'm just gonna cross them off so I make sure I don't miss anything, and then I have two threes, two fours, and a nine. All right, so the median of my original set, if I cross off the smallest and biggest, the second smallest, the second biggest, I work my way to the middle, and there's actually two middle numbers. So when you're finding the median, remember if there's one middle number, that one middle number is the median. If there's two middle numbers, you have to find the average of those two numbers. So that means we're gonna add them together and there's two of them, so we're gonna divide it by two. Okay, well three plus four is seven, and seven divided by two is gonna give us 3.5. So our original median would be 3.5. Okay, now we're saying if we added the number one to the data set. Well, if I go least to greatest, one is gonna be the new smallest number. So my new data set would say one, two, three, three, four, four, nine, right? I'm just copying that list in order and I'm just putting one in the front since that's my new smallest number. 
All right, and if I work my way to the middle, I can cross out the smallest, the biggest, the next smallest, the next biggest, the next smallest, the next biggest, and this time there's only one middle number. So that one middle number would be our median. In this case, it would be a median of three. All right, so let's look at the change. Our original median was 3.5, and then it decreased or dropped to three. Look at the set of numbers. How would the median change if the number seven replaced the number nine in the set? Okay, now we can list the whole thing out and figure out our median here, but notice nine is the biggest number in our set. If we were to change that to seven, it's still the biggest number in our set. So is that gonna change the median at all? No, the median is still the middle number. So if you look at this, if we said one, two, two, five, five, and let's take our original set here for a minute, nine, we would say our median is gonna be the average of two and five. Right, since we have two middle numbers, we would average those. So that would give us a median of 3.5. Now, if we changed it, it's not gonna change at all, right? I would have, if I change that nine to a seven, I would say one, two, two, five, five, seven, and it changes what number I cross off to get to the middle, but that doesn't change anything about what the median is. I would still average two and five, which is the same exact thing I did here. So there'd be no change. Both data sets give me a median or middle number of 3.5. Look at the set of numbers. How would the range change if the number eight replaced the number six in the set? Okay, well the range is the biggest minus the smallest. So our original range, well, what is the biggest number in our set? Nine. And then we would have to subtract the smallest number in our set, which is two. So nine minus seven would give us a range of two. Okay, so if eight replaced the number six, okay, so if we cross off that six and we put an eight there, it doesn't change what our biggest number is. Our biggest number is still nine, and it doesn't change what our smallest number is. Our smallest number is still two, so our range would still be nine minus two or seven. So there would be no change.